Hey, Reed, this is Adam with America's Baseball Camps. How you doing? I uh, hope all is well. Hey, I'm here today to kind of uh, help you out a little bit with your pitching, give you a little bit of uh, pitching evaluation, draw some circles, draw some lines, uh, show you a couple things here uh, that you do, some positives and some negatives in your delivery. Um, first and foremost, uh, pretty good job, uh, pretty pretty good foundation on, wh on what you're doing. Looks like somebody's taught you well. Um, with your motion, just a couple things I'm going to point out, I, I, and I hope it helps you out a little bit. Um, the first thing I want to let you know is uh, I noticed that all three of these pitches came out of the stretch, and I, I just have been noticing a lot of kids have been doing that lately, um, throwing out of the stretch only. Make sure that you're always incorporating the windup as well. Um, I don't know how old you are, um, but I'm sure you're old enough to where they're, they're probably leading off and, and stealing. So I know that you have to throw out of the stretch when it comes to that, that point, but make sure, again, that you are working out of the windup as well and not just the stretch only and that's something you might be doing already and just these these pitches here are out of the stretch so uh, make sure you're working out of the windup and not just the stretch um, it's just going to help you gather get a little bit more rhythm maybe a little bit more velocity on your pitches um, and it just helps you helps you with the uh, overall uh, tempo so um, moving on from there and we're going to go ahead and start from this pitch here um, Go ahead and start from the pitch number one, okay? And, and again, we're going to go from the set position here on on where you're at uh, with the start, okay? So we'll go ahead and start here, uh, for example. Let me back that up, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start here. Um, as you come set, okay, we'll pause right there. Pretty good job. Uh, your feet are in a good position. Um, you're, you're, you're pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe right here, which is okay. There are some guys that will have this foot uh, maybe a little bit more over in this direction here they'll have that foot a little bit more closed off um, of this foot instead of having it in a straight line here they'll take this foot and kinda close it off a little bit but uh, everybody's a little bit different I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing really right there at all um, you got a good base I like the foundation here you got a good separation in between your feet uh, your elbows are nice and relaxed this front elbow is good your back elbow's nice and relaxed. Everything's good. Gloves in a good position. Um, so that's a positive there in that set position. Uh, moving on a little bit, as you're coming up into your um, leg kick, um, the one thing I noticed just on this pitch, and um, I don't know if you do it every time or not, or if it's a habit, but you can see you're looking down. Okay, right there you're up. You come set, and then all of a sudden you look down, and then you're lifting up your leg as you're coming up and your, your, your eyes are still not on the target and you're at your balance point right now you're starting to go down and then boom that's where you pick up your target just be careful with that um, I want you to make sure that you're picking up your target as soon as you can um, I would definitely try to pick it up um, on the way up right about there you start looking at your, your target because that might be a little bit late where you're picking up the target okay um, and that's an easy fix that's just, one, that's just making sure you're looking picking up the target a little bit sooner um, great leg kick, great balance point, everything there looks really, really good. Let me try to rewind this a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so right there, everything looks really, really good. I mean, I love your leg kick, good balance point. You got a nice little hip turn in here with this hip. Um, excuse me, let me erase that. You got a nice little hip turn um, going here. You're nice and closed off. You got a good L, tall on the back side back here. Um, again, I just want to see those eyes probably on the target a little bit more. Okay. Uh, moving on into your launch position, this is what I really like. Uh, you keep your weight back really well. And as you can see, your lower body here is in front of your upper body. And you can kind of see that right there. You'll see a lot of kids, when they go, their, their upper body will be out this way. And it's ahead of their lower body. But you can see you right there. That's a very, very good power position. Your weight is back. Um, I wish more kids did that. But that's a really good job. Um, with with your weight staying back. You do have to be careful, however, with collapsing on this back knee a little bit. Um, and, and you can see how far you go with your head. If your head's here, okay, when you go into that power position, you're going to see how far your head drops. So just be careful with that, okay? One of, the, one of the terms that we always use is stay tall, stay tall. So you can see that gap right here, how much that you came down just because of, of what? Of you collapsing on that back leg a little bit. Okay? So just be kind of careful with that, staying, getting too low to the ground and, and getting your center of gravity um, a, a little bit lower because what's going to happen is your, your pitches are going to become flat in the zone. And, and what we want to try to do 
is create what some downhill angle to your to your pitches okay um, so how do we do that we just try to stay a little bit taller um, you can still stay back you can still bend the knee okay but we just don't want to bend too low so you, so you sandwich and and really drop and drive okay um, the next thing moving on here is is your glove side I want you to be careful with this okay you don't have to point your glove what I kinda like to see is you can see how you got a little bend back here in this arm okay what we want to try to do is we want to kinda see a bend in this arm as well uh, we want your kinda somewhere in this have your glove more so your elbow pointing at the target not necessarily the glove um, you're gonna see what happens with you is that glove side if you watch your glove kinda watch what it does it kinda just goes there and then it's gonna start to go out Oops, excuse me right there okay so what tends to happen there is that front shoulder will tend to fly open excuse me Oops. that front shoulder will tend to fly open just a little prematurely and as you can see what your glove does it just kinda lays down okay um, right there that glove should be where up by this chest area okay so your glove side is kind of um, screwing you up just a little bit again that with that big point right there you could bend that arm just bend this elbow a little bit Oops, excuse me bend that elbow a little bit um, in this power position I think you're gonna be okay uh, the landings good on, on your foot everything here your toe-to-toe -to -toe. your directions good I wouldn't change a thing with that your directions towards home plate pretty good you could see a little bit if there if if, if anything um, you're a little bit over the line kinda we want to try to land toe-to-toe -to -toe, and you can kinda see your toe is just a little bit over the line but at least you're landing slightly closed on this foot and that's a positive um, again just be careful with this with this glove side you want to make sure right about there you're taking your glove and this is something for me that I like to see you want to see this glove kinda going towards your left chest area okay bringing your glove back to your chest instead of letting it go where straight down to the ground okay um, lastly on this uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about your finish uh, your follow through you can see um, you finish really straight up and down right there you're gonna lock out that leg and we're gonna go ahead and go full speed ahead too but you can see you're way up and down here okay we want to try to get this chest out over this knee okay this leg right here your post leg and you can see when you throw you're straight up and down and right there you even pop up you know even a little bit more and you're kinda of straight up and down right there okay which at the very end it's not the end of the world if you pop up but this point right here when you go to release the ball we want to make sure that you got a little bit more of a bend in this knee you can see it's kinda of stiff okay we want a little bit more bend in that knee right here so we could get this chest where out over that that front side which your front side is your left leg and then all of a sudden you can see you just pop straight up there when you finish and your throwing arm doesn't really clear uh, your left knee down here and that's what should happen when you throw okay you can kinda see it just kinda stays up there so I'll show you again on that finish here when you finish watch what your your right arm does okay we're there okay here's your right hand normally what should happen is that hand should come all the way down here past this knee watch yours okay it just stops okay because that's just because you're finishing a little erect so again all in all um, not a bad job Reed I hope that kinda helps you out with some of the things we we pointed out with you um, I like how you keep your weight back just again be careful with uh, sandwiching on the back side a little bit getting too low you don't want to be become a drop and drive pitcher um, make sure you're picking up the target a little bit earlier kinda like on this pitch here you do a better job and then also work on that glove side keeping it closer to the chest a little bit maybe and uh, working on your finish so hope all's well we'll talk to you soon